somebody wanted to know about anti-tuberculosis treatment and specifically triple buff drug therapy, which is sometimes rifampin and ethambutol and isoniazid. And there's, of course, core drug therapy and there are other drugs that can be used, but these are the, the main ones that are being used. And the one that causes the optic neuropathy is ethambutol. So as with any toxic slash nutritional optic neuropathy, it presents in a very specific way, bilateral painless progressive loss of vision with a central scotoma or a secocentral scotoma. Initially, the nerve looks normal because it's thought to be a retrobulbar optic neuropathy, and then the nerve will become pale, optic atrophy bilaterally, and OCT will show the decreased nerve fiber layer and the macular ganglion cell layer, and that's gonna be the papilla macula bundle bilaterally. So if we have a patient who has tuberculosis, is on anti-tuberculosis therapy, and develops what looks like a toxic optic neuropathy, bilateral central scotoma, normal disc, or pale disc, we stop the medicine. However, if they keep getting worse, make sure they actually stop the medicine, but the second choice is gonna be the isoniazid. So how do, how do you tell the difference between the thambutol and isoniazid? You cannot. They're both toxic optic neuropathies. They look exactly the same. If you stop one and they keep going, you should test them. How about rifampin? It'd be extremely unlikely that the rifampin is causing this. So if they keep getting worse despite stopping both of these, then you have to think about other things. And I would recommend you think about those other things right from the start, even if they're on bethambutol, because it can still be nutritional. That's B12, B9, that's folate and B12, copper deficiency if they have some reason and hereditary, and the hereditary is labor hereditary optic neuropathy. So I'm always gonna be thinking about nutritional and toxic in the same way. The two toxins in tuberculosis are ethambutol number one, rifampin is not number two, isonide is number two, and if they have progression, think about nutritional and labor hereditary optic neuropathy.